Howdy y'all, Jeremy from the Archer Shack again, and I wanted to talk about the top five compound bows on Amazon as of the making of this video in July of 2022. These have basically stayed the same for a good while, uh, at least for a year. You know, they've changed around just a tad, but so this should be a, a video that's uh, good for at least another year or two. But I'll jump right into it. Uh, number one is the San Lita Dragon X8 bow. This bow we have uh, had in the shop for about a year and a half now. We've sold some of them. Uh, seems to be a good, decent built bow. As of the time of making this video, they got packages starting at around $200, and it comes like this. Comes with a sight, with a light on it, stabilizer, arrow rest, uh, peep sight. They also have packages with arrows and different things, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the Dragon, you can set it from 18 to 31 inches of draw length, uh, basically 0 to th uh, 70 pounds. And the poundage does, does change a little bit according to what draw length it's on. You can actually change the strings by letting the limb bolts all the way out. But I will say if you do that, do them equally because we've had people call in and they basically just let one limb bolt out and the bow kind of flew apart on them. So make sure you know you let out like 5 and 5, another 5, another 5. Do them, do them equal. It's a 30 inch axle to axle bow. And uh, from our experience with it, it's a decent bow. Uh, anybody could shoot it, a, a kid, a lady, an adult. You could hunt with it. You could play in the yard with it. Fairly simple to change the draw length. You just rotate modules on both ends. It comes with an owner's manual that tells you which number sets it to which draw length. So. I don't really have anything bad to say about this, especially for the price point. It's got, you know, it's a typical aluminum riser. We hadn't had any trouble with anything. So the San Lita Dragon X8 is, is not a bad bow. All right, number two is going to be one of the, and I guess I'm saying it right, Pandarus or Pandarus or something like that. I ordered one just to review it basically it's an all plastic bow sells for about a hundred bucks for whatever reason it says duke six on the limbs uh pandarus is on the side of it it uh for the money it's hard to say that it's a bad bow but it is all plastic so keep that keep that in mind Fif uh, 15 to 29 pound adjustment just like any other bow you can adjust the limbs 19 to 28 inch draw so i'm a 28 inch draw i set it on 28 and shot it a few times it, I, it don't feel bad it's just that plasticky feel 37 and three quarter inch axle to axle so i really think this bow is meant for you know a kid maybe a lady that's just wanting to kind of test the waters and see what she thinks about shooting one screw in the module you rotate it and it's got the actual links on the module you know so you just twist it to say 26 inches and put the screw in it and tighten it down so for a hundred dollars i don't i don't know what else you could really ask for but just keep in mind this is an all plastic bow you know i wouldn't put a whole lot of faith in it if i was going to make it like a bow i was going to shoot a lot but probably not too bad of a choice for somebody just wanting to play around. Uh, it came with some fiberglass arrows that are really heavy, definitely shootable, but out of this type of bow, they, they're gonna drop like a rock. So uh, that's a, right now it's a hundred bucks. So the Pandarus bow, Pandarus, however you say it. Number three on the list is the Bear Cruiser G2. This has been a very popular bow for several years now super adjustable we do sell these in the shop never you know no trouble out of them bears are very reputable american company on amazon they have uh things that started about 389 but i've seen that fluctuate a lot um i don't know if that comes i don't think that's a complete package or anything so this bow will go from five to seventy pounds 12 to 30 inches of draw and it's 30 inches long the bow itself um, i'm gonna tell you the end my thoughts on this price point and what i would do but if this is one of your bows you're considering definitely it's not a bad choice at all well built it's got a warranty if something happens you take it into a bear dealer and bear 
you know, replaces whatever's broke, basically. Now that don't count like the strings and cables and that sort of thing, but as far as like if you had a problem with the limb or the riser or whatever. So good bow, been around a few years for the money, not bad to beat. Probably the most well-built bow on this list. Number four is the Bear Royale. Same company as the Cruiser G2. Uh, the Royale specs are very close to that Pandorus bow, but of course this is not a plastic uh, junk bow. This bow will go from 5 to 50 pounds, 12 to 27 inch draw, and it's a 27 inch axle to axle aluminum metal riser. Uh, you got your, your normal bear package. You got a whisker biscuit, a four pin sight, a quiver, peep sight, loop, and all that on the string. So this bow wouldn't be for like an adult male. It would be for a kid or a lady. We stock these bows. I'm, we probably have two dozen in there right now. Typically, we sell this bow to a smaller kid. Let's say a seven, eight, nine-year-old, ten-year-old maybe because they're going to outgrow it most likely because uh, it's going to stop at 27 inches of draw. Now, maybe not, maybe not a girl, but again, I think there's a little better option if it's an older kid, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But honestly, this is a good stout bow. Um, I would not think twice about getting it. You know, you're looking at a little over 300 bucks to get this as a package uh, and, and be ready to shoot. So, good bow. The last on our list is the Genesis bow. These look like on Amazon, they're starting around 160. And again, some of them come as a package with arrows, some of them don't. This bow is a little different. This bow was invented to almost be like a recurve bow. So it's a constant poundage. You can set it between 10 and 20 pounds and it does not let off. So as I pull it back, it just stays constant poundage. These other bows, as you get back, it'll let off and you're only holding a small percentage of the total draw weight. This is the bow they use in the NASP, National Archery and Schools program. So this is the only bow you can, your kids can shoot in that program. So we tell people if your kid is shooting in that program or interested in that program, definitely get a Genesis because these other bows, you can't shoot them because they got let off and it's a whole different ball game. But at the same time, this is not a bow you could hunt with. So if they're not worried about shooting in school, I'd probably look at one of the other options. The other good thing about this bow, I grabbed a left-handed one uh, off, of, off the wall by accident. I'm right-handed. But anyway, um, anybody could shoot it. If you're just wanting a bow that, let's say you got a family of four and you want anybody to just walk out in the backyard and be able to pull it back and shoot it, this would be the bow. You could get a dozen arrows in this bow everybody could go outside and fire it off. So it's according to exactly what you're looking for, but mostly we sell these to kids that are shooting archery in their school since this is the only model they allow them to shoot. So I know I mentioned maybe a better option on the super adjustable bows, and to me that is the Bear Legit. I've talked about it in a few other videos, uh, you're looking at about a $450 package bow, but it'll basically adjust to anybody. Tons of different colors you can get it in. Uh, very well built. Poundage goes all over. It's a 30 inch long bow, and it's a well built bow. It's a, it's a solid bow. A kid could shoot it, a lady could shoot it, a man could shoot it. This is the one you could buy for, say, a, let's say a 10 or 11 year old, and they could still be shooting it when they turn 21 because it's that good of a bow. So I would definitely look into the Bear Legit. If you're looking for a decent bow that maybe a kid could shoot for years and years to come. And again, you got the lifetime warranty and all that sort of thing. So hopefully this answered a few questions. Uh, you know, out of the list that we went through, the Pandaris bow, or however you say it, would be the one I would really kind of think about not getting because it's all plastic. The, the two bear bows and the Genesis bows are made in America and come with warranties. The Sanlita, I think, 
I have to look, but I think they claim a 30 day warranty, but I have to look on their website. So don't hundred percent quote me on that. We have sold the sand leaders in the shop and have some now, but, uh, there's just a tiny bit of quality difference in, in the bear and the sand leader. So it's just according to what price point you want to be at. And if you want the lifetime warranty stuff going on. So maybe this video helps somebody. If you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them or give us a call here at the shop, the Archery Shack, 864-735-8484. And we'll be happy to answer any questions or maybe help you get set up with one of these bows or anything else we can do. Just let us know. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all in the next video.